today we're going to be doing another creative session. Um, I thought today we could learn a bit more about a certain artist, so I've decided to um, go with Monet. Now, we have been looking at rivers over the week, so he's a very good one and you'll find out why in a minute. So, a few facts about Monet to begin with. So, Monet, also known as Claude Monet, was an impressionist painter. This is where he wouldn't paint real life, but he would paint an interpreted version of what he could see, okay? He was a French artist born on the 14th of November, 1840 in Paris, and his mum was a singer and his dad was a greengrocer's. Monet nearly went blind, but thankfully he didn't. I mean, that would have been awful if an artist went blind because he probably wouldn't be able to see any of the work he was doing. He liked to travel and in 1870 he moved to England to where this is where he created his River Thames series and artwork which is what is going to inspire us our work today. Firstly I'm going to show you some of his artwork that he has done just so you can see what his work is like and then I'll show you as well the River Thames work. As we've been learning about rivers, I thought that um, as Claude Monet has done a series about the River Thames, which is very local to us, I thought that we could have a look at that and see if we can create an impressionist piece inspired by Monet but using our own materials and our own inspiration. So what you're going to need first is you're going to need a piece of paper and all you need to do is draw a scene from the River Thames or if not just any river. Um, that you can find and all you've got pictures of. So resources wise all you're really going to need is some paints so I've just gone with colours that I thought I would kind of see by the rivers as that is what we're going to be focusing on. Then I've got a mixing palette you could just use a plate, a tray, a plastic tray, a punnet from like strawberries or something that you're not using and then you're going to need a pencil and some cotton buds. So during lockdown I've been on a lot of walks around my local area and I've decided to try and do this picture as I really like it and it's really bright and um, it is actually of the River Way so even if you can't get to the River Thames you could use the River Way as inspiration or any other rivers or lakes near you. Um, so I'm going to have a go at drawing this and then adding paint to it. Okay, so I've now done the path and kind of the um, the banks of the river and the side, the other side where the tree trunks are. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in at the top up here. I'm going to work in and try and do the leaves and then the side, the other side of the banks. And then I'm going to try and get the river done. So finally I'm now going to work into it with the bluey greeny tones for the river and I've just kind of mixed up a few different shades so I have them ready to go. Okay, so here's my final piece. I mean, it's quite hard to tell what it is, but I have a feeling you can kind of see. Um, but you've got to remember that this is an impressionist piece, so you're kind of in using it to inspire you, but taking your own stance on it and making it your own. And it doesn't have to look exactly like it is. I mean, you can tell there's the river, we've got all the greenery, and we've got the path. So I hope you have fun giving it a go, and I look forward to seeing them.